Have you seen this gem before? It's a mineral called olivine, but you might know it better as August's birthstone, peridot. While most of the peridot that is set in jewelry comes from the rocks beneath your feet right here on Earth, it's also found in many of the meteorites that come to us from space. Let's look at a few. Olivine is a silicate material made mostly of magnesium and iron. Specifically, it forms a solid solution between two end members, phosphorite, which is magnesium rich, and phthalite, which is iron rich. The exact ratio depends on the environment it formed in, and we can actually learn a lot about the stone and its origin from examining that ratio. Now, in meteorites like palisites, olivine crystals formed inside differentiated asteroids. That's asteroids large enough to develop layered structures with a core, mantle, and a crust not unlike our own planet. The olivine grew in the mantle, and over time, collisions exposed the boundary between that rocky mantle and the molten metal core. That's where these crystals ended up suspended in nickel iron metal, kind of like preserved, like fossils of planetary formation. It's really neat. On Earth, olivine forms, again, deep in the upper mantle under high pressure and temperature. It gets brought to the surface in magma, especially in mafic and ultramafic volcanic rocks like basalt and peridotite, like you see here. When the lava cools quickly, the olivine can crystallize out as distinct green grains like this. As you might expect, rocks like this one often get mistaken for meteorites when they've actually formed right here at home. I actually keep this one and some like it handy for that reason to help people learn how to differentiate meteorites and meteor wrongs. The olivine you see in these terrestrial and extraterrestrial examples is the same mineral, but it usually just gets to us through very different paths. One comes from space as a result of a violent impact that exposes the inside of asteroids. The other is born in Earth's dynamic mantle and rides to the surface through volcanic eruptions. Whether it formed in Earth's mantle or the heart of an asteroid, olivine is proof that the geology of our planet is similar to a lot of other things floating around out there in space, and it looks pretty neat when you polish it up. Make sure to follow for more space rocks.